Greetings again everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So we've made acquaintance with Cloan and Gilligan, they are now in Majula, and I reckon it's time we talk to them a little more. Oh god, stay classy. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Speak up if you need anything at all, alright? These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted, but I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> they call this place Drang Lake, right? Well, in the old lore, in stories and the like, they said it had another name. What was it? Well, I don't know. It's just something I heard. Since long, long ago, many kingdoms have risen and fallen on this very spot. Each like a great flame that turns to soot. Maybe that's why people don't remember much about the past. You see that blacksmith over there? Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. He sort of looks like my father. He's a blacksmith too, you see. Poor man's such a worrywart. But he wouldn't follow me out here, would he? <laughs> I was born in a land to the west, Volgan, famous for its merchants. There were great, bustling cities. But for me, they were suffocating. And so I set out in search of stones in faraway lands. There are dangers for certain, but I much prefer to live this way. But for the life of me, I can't remember how I ended up here. It's as if I were drawn to the place or lured in. Oh, I don't know. These stones may look some some none of the no interest. Suit yourself. I knew you'd be around soon. Go on, show me what you've got. My witless daughter finally came home. Just as oblivious as she's always been. Well, at least now I can keep an eye on her. Stones? Try asking my daughter. You might be surprised. Now, don't go near that scum near the pit. The scoundrel's name is Gilligan, and he's infamous in our hometown. Yes, everyone's heard of him, as he always manages to stir up trouble. Gilligan can certainly be helpful at times, but he's a real conniver when it comes to money. Ah, there are even people out for his life. And you can bet he brought it on himself. Drat. <laughs> You're worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend your whole life in transit, you hear?
Wait. You found your way out too. <laughs> the name's Gilligan. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> All right. What do you want? I have everything you need. <laughs> You want to go down that awful hole? You must have lost your marbles. <laughs> fine, sure, fine. I'm happy to be of service. You need a ladder then, sure enough. But you'll, uh, you'll have to show some generosity. You just don't get it, do you? Fine then. Now it's my turn. So Gilligan sells us three ladders, all of them will be of a varying length leading down the pit. This one's the shortest. It's basically only long enough to, well, make us not die from the fall. Hey, this ladder's not for sale. The only things I sell are miniatures. I mean, if that tickles your fancy, you can buy as many as you like. <laughs> oh, I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flipping mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought at, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of, you know, my old pals. Oh, don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, my old chum? That gaping hole? Hell, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses, or you know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and, and those human statues? Who are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. What's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? <laughs> oh yeah, somebody told me that the grave of, of a saint lies below here. N not built by the king, no, no. It did back to a time long before him. The tomb connects to that hole. And there's... There's something about some... some rat king down there. Hell, <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. Oh, I should have listened to the one. Huh? See? Cheers for that. <laughs> Alright, Gilligan told us a little bit about the pit, but today we're not gonna go down there. Instead, we're going back to Hades Tower of Flame and go down that path. So, let's warp there, see ya there. <laughs>